Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. But it's actually 4.50 and the last time you saw me, we were filming things from this morning. I thought I filmed an intro this morning after like the B-roll footage, but I never said hello, it's Vlogmas Day 3 and it is Vlogmas Day 3. And I am back from work and I'm ready to start the weekend. I'm looking forward to it. I have some things planned. We're going to have fun. We're going to hang out. It's going to be all of the things that make Vlogmas Vlogmas. Steven has dinner, which we bought some curry that you just bake in the oven. He has that going. He took Bubba's for a quick walk. I'm just getting settled in. You are all going to think I'm crazy, but... I think I'm going to decorate my car for Christmas. I don't know exactly what my vision is, but I did buy these stockings. I also picked up these red seatbelt holders. I have some reindeer for the windows. I have snowflakes for the big glass ceiling. And I thought that is what we're going to go do. We're going to see if I can decorate my car for Christmas because I'm that obnoxious. All right, <laughs> the car is now officially Vlogmas ready. We have some stockings in there. It's hard to see because the lighting is so dark, friends. And then look, I did snowflakes on the ceiling of the car. How fun! We will look at it in daylight tomorrow, but we needed a car that was Vlogmas ready. and. That's exactly what we have. All right, I'm gonna go in for dinner. I ended up not using the reindeer stickers that I bought just because I didn't like how they blocked the windows. So I still have those extra ones. Maybe I'll take them to work and use them. But the car is all set and super festive. I had some deliveries come in. So I bought this little, like, I have some pine on here. I love this band because it reminds me of Christmas, the red and the green. And then I actually found this legitimate Christmas Apple Watch band. Sorry, he's wound up. Then I got myself some screen protectors. This sweater from ASOS, which is gonna be very hard for me to pull off. It's not a good color for me. And then just some scarves. <coughs> but I thought we would go ahead and do some advent calendar opening and open some advent calendars. Day three, day three, day three, day three. It's right here. This is a jasmine and green tea hand and body wash. I love jasmine and green tea right here. Let's go ahead, open it up. What is day three? It is a foaming shower gel. I absolutely love the foaming shower gels. They're so good. Do, 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 do. And it is a probiotic moisturizer. Let's see what dog we're meeting today. Day three, we're meeting Penny. Ah. Penny's a dachshund. All right, we'll put Penny right there. Get ready. Put some sugar on me. We got Mary Berries. They're actually so good. I love the Mary Berries. I love the texture of them. They're like a little bit of a gummy with like the little sprinkles on it. Day three. Have a holly dolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. They're little peppermint candies. Amazing. Day three of my spice calendar. Thank you, Jacqueline. We got Lebanese seasoning. Oh, that smells so good. All right. This is the coolest idea. It might actually be my favorite because I'm going to use it so much. All right, I'm going to put that in the spice cabinet. I'm sorry, we have the lights off and it's a little dark, but we will make do. He is being very chatty today. He wants this non. But he doesn't get non. He doesn't get non of the non. Do you want the bread? No. 
you're threatening the... Oh, I want the non. No, you're not getting the non. It's my non. No. Give me the non! The non is... I'm finishing my curry. All right, friends. So I am sitting here at my computer in today's advent of kindness it is all about sending a letter or text message to someone who inspires you and i am crazily fortunate to work with many people who inspire me so i've been trying to think about like who do i want to send this to what do i want to say and i mean I don't even really know where to begin. <laughs> I really don't. I'm just like super lucky. I think I want to text a couple of my friends who um, are always there for me. So I'm going to choose my friend Patrick and of course Danielle. Today's advent of kindness is to message someone who inspires you. I would have told you today in person if we could have gotten drinks after work, but all our schedules were nutty. Thank you for being the friends and work partners that inspire me to be my best, grow and improve I'm grateful for both of you and your friendship. Next, I'm going to text Laura. Today's advent of kindness is to tell someone that they inspire you. Laura. So a little backstory about Laura and I. We met 10, 11 years ago when we did a training together and she was leading it. And I remember walking away saying like, I want her to be my friend. And now she's become one of my nearest and dearest. Laura has never shied away to give me critical feedback and push me to grow. She's made me a better person and a better human and a better friend. And I just think she's incredible. And she's one of the most phenomenal leaders I've ever had the privilege to work with, let alone call my friend. So I'm just going to say, Laura, thank you for always pushing me to be better. Not only for my team, but also for myself, which may be the most important. I'm a better person for having you in my life. Love you. And then I would say the other person that inspires me is my sister. Sis, today we are supposed to reach out to a person that inspires us. You inspire me. Your selflessness and commitment to your family is absolutely unmatched. You probably do not hear it enough, but you are a spectacular example of what it means to put family first and dedicate your life to serving others. I'm so incredibly proud of you. That one got me a little bit more emotional than I thought it would. Today has been a really interesting day. It has had some really chaotic moments at work and also had some amazing and beautiful moments as well. So it was kind of 
the highest and the lowest all wrapped up into one. And I think that's just a beautiful depiction of what makes a whole and great life. You need the highs and the lows and you learn things from the lows if you're willing to listen to them and think about them and share them and talk about what could have been better. And I think I'm grateful to work in a culture that when the lows happen, yes, they can be devastating and frustrating and all of those things. But also I think about challenges and missteps as opportunities and doors to improve and grow and challenge yourself and learn more and be better. And I think when you can go into those moments with that mentality, it really does help. Does it still sting? Yes. Does it still frustrate you? Yes. But after getting past that initial piece, if you can really look at what is the lesson to be learned and what is this teaching me, there's so much power in that. And it helps take you, it helps let you take some of the power back from a situation that feels like it's kind of run you over. So that was a terrible but great moment. I learned a lot and I'm already thinking about how we will improve in the future. I also think I had some really beautiful moments with my leadership team today and I had a really fun idea for them. And yeah, there were some really great and wonderful moments. I spend most of my days worrying about, are people happy? Are people upset? What can I do? What can I do more? And today I didn't feel that as much. I could kind of step back and be like, this team shows up when things get hard and they are the best humans I know. And I'm so blessed to work with them and also have the opportunity to lead them. However, they lead me most days <laughs> um, and teach me more. But it was a really great day and a really good Vlogmas Day 3. It's been low-key. It's been relatively simple. But I feel like during the week, those have to feel that way. But I still think this is my favorite vlogmas to start. I just, there's an energy to it, a connection to it, and all of those things. Thank you for sharing all of my content and everything. We're growing quickly. In the last couple hours, we've gotten like a hundred more Instagram followers and a hundred more YouTube followers. Amazon Home today shared some of my Christmas decor, which I was flattered and honored by. Yeah, it's been a good day, despite the challenges. I think I'm going to go down. I'm going to convince Stephen to open his David's Tea, share his thoughts, and then we're probably going to wrap this bad boy up. So someone, someone has an advent cap. <gasps> look, look at his tail start going. Oh. oh. What do you want? Number three, please. Happy Vlogmas Day 3! Where is it? Uh -huh. You need to find your numbers. Oh, right here. He found it! Get it! Get it! <gasps> there, help you. What's green again? There you go. You know he really likes them because he doesn't even take them anywhere else. I know. He eats them right on the spot. Yes. So, Whoopers is done. So the tea, I'm gonna spill, spill the tea. Yes. <laughs> spill the tea. Wait, oh, I found it right here. You're the Kim Zolciak of advent calendar spilling the tea. Apple cider. Oh, I like apple cider. Yay. So what is in apple cider? Let me see. Probably a long list of things. Uh, oh, right here. It's in French too. It's Canadian. Uh, apple, apple pomance. Sweet blackberry leaves, apple flavoring, uh, and artificial vanilla flavoring. So it's rather simple. Why'd you have to get so close to it? Because my eyes don't. It look uh, this look. Uh, it's small lettering. Do you want it? He spills tea all the time. Our tea. I am in bed with a glass of wine, doing the editing for Vlogmas Day 3, and it's almost done. It's going to be a little bit later than last time, but it's been a good day, and I'm excited for tomorrow, but I'm going to wrap up Day 3 right here, right now, by saying, take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. 
Until next time, which will be tomorrow, my friends. Bye-bye.